Okay, in this video we're going to go over the reassembly of the Smith & Wesson 22A1 handgun. Uh, in a previous video we went over the disassembly, took the pistol down to these parts, now we're going to reassemble them into the functioning handgun. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to reassemble the recoil spring assembly. Simply slide the recoil spring over the front of the recoil spring guide, and then we're going to take the recoil spring buffer, which is the little square piece of plastic, and put it over the back of the recoil spring guide. Now, one thing to remember is this little piece of plastic here is not straight. It's actually curved a little bit and has something of a bend. You want to make sure that the bent part is facing towards the rest of the spring. So when I put it on, I'm going to put it on as so, and you notice that the bent part faces towards the rest of the spring. If you put it in backwards, it won't function correctly. We'll go ahead and set that assembly down for now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the frame and the slide and we're going to put the slide over the frame over this triangular piece at the rear. So simply drop it over that piece there and the slide should be able to slide back and forth horizontally with no resistance. Go ahead and push the slide all the way forward as it'll go and then take your recoil spring guide and we're going to put this back into the slide. Now the way this works is we're going to take the free end of the spring and we're going to put it into this groove here at the front top of the slide. It has a little groove right at the top there where the spring will fit into. And we're just going to put it in like that. Now for the back end, we're going to take this plastic recoil spring buffer and we're going to make sure that that goes in front of this triangular block here at the rear of the frame. So, once again, we're going to take the recoil spring assembly put the spring in here on top and then we're going to compress the spring so that the frame uh, block there holds it. A little bit of compression, slip it in there. Now while you're doing this you need to keep your finger or thumb on the, fr on the slide here because once again it's gone back to the point where it has a tendency to kick up and send the entire thing flying because of the tension that spring is under. So go ahead and keep your thumb on it there, get a good grip on it and then we're going to go ahead and pull it back, rack the slide, and then use your right thumb here and lift the slide stop and then let it catch. That'll keep the slide locked back on the frame. And as you can see, the recoil spring here and the little uh, buffer and the front of the little triangular block are all under a lot of tension there, so be careful when you're pulling this back. You've got to pull straight back and you've got to make sure that the slide doesn't uh, ride upward as you're locking it back. <coughs> Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reattach the barrel and rail assembly to the rest of the handgun. Now remember there's this pin here which vertically goes down into the middle of the frame and then there's this hook here on the back and that hook will also clamp onto the triangular piece. On the back of the triangular block on the frame there's a little recess for this hook to fit into. So to reassemble these you're going to take the hook, you're going to put it in this little gap right here and just let it ride forward till it hooks on. So go ahead and put the, the hook there, slide it forward, right now it's hooked onto it, and we're just going to let it rotate down here, and then when the pin is right about there, you're going to depress this button all the way in and let the, uh, the barrel pin drop into the frame. So drop that in, and it will fit in nice and snug there. Now before you do anything else, make sure that this frame and this barrel are flush with each other, and the top of the slide here and the bottom of the rail are also flush with each other. That means you've done it right. If not, you may not have aligned it completely correctly and it won't allow you to rack the slide. As you can see, we have no problems with that, and the slide runs and functions as it should. Go ahead and put the magazine back in. The safety has stayed on the entire time. And that is the reassembly of the Smith & Wesson Model 22 A1 handgun.